science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are grouped together because they are interdependent on each other. We use this approach because we think it's the most uh, inclusive for children. And we think that uh, to prepare them for 21st century skills, we want to give them opportunities and choices that include STEM. But as a learner, if you take the learner's perspective, the child's perspective, they're not doing science and technology, engineering and math. They're living and learning. They're engaging with their world and they're making sense of it. Carolyn Pratt saw this as the unit. And that's one of the big ideas in mathematics, the idea of a unit. There's nothing like having the experience of fractional parts and relationships in their history, in their life history, to make my point that math is the study of relationships and the science of pattern. There's a whole lot of abstract stuff we can talk about later on in life, but it, it builds from the experience that kids have had with uh, well-organized, well well-structured tools like the Pratt Blocks. The science that's in there, I mean, for Aaliyah to know that she can roll a cylinder or roll a car down, that's um, the, the science in gravity and other balance. They're constantly trying to balance things. And they're at the point now where they know intuitively that if they add this, it's going to fall. And that comes from experience in working in the block area. Technology people often think of as the uh, computer or the iPad, but the truth is uh, simple machines were the, some of the earliest technologies. So the incline plane, how um, a car can roll down a ramp, the wheel and the axle, those are early technology. And when children realize that, you can build the later skills that they will use. You live STEM when you engage with tools and materials and what better place to do that than a classroom uh, with a knowledgeable teacher who can set up the environment so that kids can engage with the scientific principles and ideas that come from building a, a structure, you know, and finding out when you first build that things fall down, they keep on falling down. Well, that's the problem that a kid might encounter. And then he or she has to figure out how to make it more sturdy. Uh, and so, you, so you're living with the engineering problem, you're living with the technology of the tool, and you're, you're solving a problem. So preschool kids, that's the place to start the necessary underpinnings for uh, engineering and mathematical ideas. And I think they're beginning to understand that there's always another question. There's always something else to find out. That's power. That's a powerful understanding to have. And we want children in schools, in public schools, very diverse children to have the power of what their ideas are.